G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of subtracting fractions from one another, uh, fractions with unlocked denominators, different bottom numbers, and we're going to be looking at how to do this pretty much instantly. Okay, so it's a, it's without all that messy working out that you often get with fractions. And once you work out how to do this trick, look, it's a really, really great and easy method of doing it as well. Okay, so. What about I give you an example, and I'm going to answer this one fairly quickly, but you see if you can answer it while I'm busily writing it down. So, three quarters take away one half. Now, the answer that you should get with this is as follows. You should get two over eight. Look, and you can possibly then simplify, you can possibly, you can simplify this further into a quarter, but I'm going to leave them unsimplified for the minute, okay? So, did you get that answer pretty much straight away? If not, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you how to do this pretty much straight away, okay? How, how, and I did that in that exact speed, so I'll show you how to do this. Now, as follows, this is how we do it. So first off, I'm going to show you how to get the bottom number, then I'm going to show you how to get the top number, but once you start getting used to these, I tend to start working out the top number first and then the bottom number, okay? So the bottom number um, is pretty much easy, it's uh, 4 times 2. Okay, so you just multiply these two numbers, you're going to get your bottom number, which is 8. Okay, that's the first one. To get this number here, this top number, what we do is as follows. We're going to start, and this is a critical part here, we have to start on this left hand side. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to multiply multiplying the top number on the left hand side by this number, and then this number by this number, and we're going to be taking them away from one another. So 3 times 2 is 6, 1 times 4 is 4, and I'm going to go 6 take away 4 to get my answer, which is 2 eighths. And it's really, really critical that you actually do it in that order, that you don't go this one by this one, take away this one by this one, because otherwise you'll end up with 4 take away 6, and you'll get the wrong answer. So we start in the top left-hand corner, and we're multiplying this way, and then this way, taking answers away. That's a pretty easy technique, eh? Anyway, what about I give you another example here? So, this is a nice easy one. What about uh, one half take away two fifths? So, I'm going to do the working out with you here. So, let's first off get this bottom number. To get that, what do we do? We multiplied these numbers. So, two times five is ten. Then what we did is we start in this top left corner, 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 2 is 4, okay, we're taking that away, so 5 take away 4, we get the answer of 1, so our answer is 1 tenth. Now, what I start to do after a while with these is I'll start to actually work out this top number first, because that's typically the order in which we say it, we say it's 1 tenth. So while you're busily working this one out, then you can automatically work this one out for the bottom. Okay, so, and that's the reason I'd start doing it in that order, but, you know, whichever, whichever way you like this. I'll tell you what, um, we'll do it one way like this now. So four fifths, where I work at the top number, so four fifths take away two thirds. And what does this equal? So this is the last bit of working out I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to start just doing them uh, in our head. So 4 times 3 is 12. And then 2 times 5 is 10. You're going to be taking that away. Okay. So 12 take away 10 is 2. And then 5 threes are 15. So we got 2 fifteenths. How'd you go with that? You might want to be pausing this while you're doing this and, and because, you know, you might take a little bit longer to start off with these. Okay, uh, a couple more of these. So what about two-thirds? And from this, we're going to take away one quarter. So let's start doing this without that bit of working out. You might pause this and do the working out. Okay, maybe you will. Pausing. Okay, but I'm going to do this without doing all that little working out down here now. I'm just going to start going straight to the answer. So... What's going on in my head while we're doing this is 8, take away 3, which is 5, 3 times 4 is 12. How'd you go with that? Pretty good? Good. Okay, last question here. Um, 4 fifths, take away a half, 
And once again, we can start just putting this answer straight in because we're going 8 take away 5, which is 3. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8. Take away 1 times 5, which is 5. It's 3. And our number here and on the bottom is 2 times 5, which is 10. 3 tenths. Okay, pretty cool, right? A uh, really, really easy method of doing these. And look, you have a look at that. There's no trying to change to common denominators and all that sort of deal. You know, get that bottom number the same and there's no multiple lines of working out. It's pretty much there. Now look, what we also haven't dealt with here, and I know there'll probably be a few people are asked this, and there are other videos I've done on this, is how to deal if you start to get with mixed numbers. So say you have, say, one and a half takeaway, you know, uh, a quarter or a third or something, how we would deal with that. And there's just an extra little step when we do these. So check out my uh, other videos when we have a look at these. The other thing which uh, you saw at the start of the video was where we had an answer which was two eighths. Now look, that that's... It's a fairly raw answer. Um, it, in a maths class, your teacher often would like you to simplify this, and that's a fair enough thing. Okay. So the way that we would simplify this is we would look for a number that goes into both the top and the bottom, uh, which is 2, 1. 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 8, 4. Okay, and that's where you can simplify these. Anyway, hopefully that video was uh, <laughs> of some help to you. Hopefully you find that nice and easy. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.